Hello, I'm Steven, the Calculator Guy, and today we're talking about Bitcoin and Ethereum. I know, it's crazy because I'm a DeFi guy, but uh, those are DeFi coins too. So, many, many, many people hold their Bitcoin or their Ethereum just like in centralized exchanges or centralized exchange wallets, which like many people in DeFi, like the, the people who believe in DeFi theory, will say that those people don't even own their coins. I mean, if you have your Bitcoin uh, or Ethereum in like Robinhood or um, I, don't, I don't know if Weeble does it, but Robinhood or uh, PayPal or any of these other like not even centralized, ex they are central exchanges, but they're like stock market exchanges or apps, you definitely do not own your coins. You're leasing them. And even on a centralized exchange like uh, Coinbase or Binance or KuCoin, um, if it's not in your wallet wallet, then you really don't own it. Uh, and if you try to withdraw it and they're like, no, we don't want to let you do that because we don't have a lot of liquidity right now, uh, they could just say no and you could not get those assets out. So I like DeFi because you own your assets and you can move them around whenever you want they're yours and i'm all about personal ownership about actually owning the assets uh that make you money and that are your money that are your you know your tokens or coins by the way whiteboard crypto posted this really interesting thing about the difference between a coin and a token apparently coins are uh chain tokens so like bitcoin is a coin because it's the uh native token of the bitcoin uh blockchain ethereum would be a coin AVAX would be a coin, Phantom would be a coin, but things like Anchor would be tokens. So tokens are uh, assets traded on blockchains. Um, anyways, this video is going to about is going to be about the different places where you can maximize or get decent yields on your Bitcoin or your Ethereum. Uh, now. Some other videos have been done of a, in a similar vein. However, I think that they were more so focusing on the Ethereum blockchain. And in my opinion, unless you're investing ten, literally, literally uh, tens of thousands of dollars or hundreds of thousands of dollars or millions of dollars, the gas fees from the Ethereum blockchain are going to heavily eat into your APR. And the APRs are already so low. I'm talking about like 10% being super high, so 10% or less. Uh, and so if you wanted to turn that 10% APR into an APY, you would have to compound, and compounding costs gas. And so very quickly, uh, you're losing yield on the Ethereum blockchain. So we're not really going to do much on the Ethereum blockchain, even though we're talking about Ethereum and Bitcoin. We're going to mostly be talking about opportunities on other chains. But I will, you know, give a little bit of time to the Ethereum blockchain. Uh, <clears throat> Because there are some protocols that I really, really like, and so I don't mind giving them a shout out. One of them is uh, Tokamak, and the other one is Convex. So let's look at these ones, right? Ethereum, 7%, single side staking. You can deposit your Ethereum there, um, <clears throat> and there you go. You get paid in TOK. Uh, now, people could say TOK is a farm token. I I would say they don't fully understand the uh, the brilliance of uh tokamak so i don't mind holding toke i don't mind getting it receiving it and staking it i don't mind compounding it that's just me it's my personal opinion based off my own research this is not a uh, tokamak video um but so that's a really good apr the problem here though is that if you want to turn that apr into an apy you have to compound and um that's just going to cost you a ton of money uh i don't know if i can quickly find the calculator that i used before uh, which is like an is it worth it is it worth uh yeah staking on the erc20 chain right so let's see your initial investment ten thousand dollars the apr is seven percent and just seven percent uh the approval fee is going to be like 15 bucks deposit fee deposit fee is probably not gonna be 270 deposit fee is probably going to be like 30 bucks withdrawal fee like 50 bucks right so in a year you're only going to get like 5%. That's off of that APR, right? And if you compound it, the, the fees are going to be uh, like, you don't get enough ROI off of $10,000 until a month just to cover the 
uh, fees that you would use to compound. So just it's not worth it. You have to be literally, again, like I'm saying, you have to literally be uh, investing tens of thousands of dollars or hundreds of thousands of dollars or millions of dollars in order for compounding to be meaningful on the Ethereum blockchain. So that's why we're not really talking too much about the Ethereum blockchain. But, you know, I like token marketing as a great protocol. Hope that they go cross-chain one day or that like a really, really robust good fork with many team members pops up on like Avalanche or Phantom. Okay, next one. Uh, we are going to finish with the Ethereum blockchain with Convex. So Convex, pretty cool. Um, they just take like curve pools and they optimize them a little bit. So you can see the... Uh, Control F, the Ethereum opportunities. Um, so all of these are like SF or F or Anchor F. Um, <clears throat> there's also probably an Alchemex ETH. I don't. Know, I, I say F sometimes. I know I mean ETH, but you can look at the yields. Right, you're getting 6.33%, 1.85%, and you really do have to consider the gas fees that you're putting in in order to get those yields. In my opinion, unless you're dealing with hundreds of thousands of dollars or millions of dollars, uh, these just are not going to be super appealing to me. Now, there are some like stable opportunities that might be appealing to me, even though you can get Frax, better Frax uh, APR elsewhere. This is still pretty good for a stable coin. But, you know, this is, a, this is a good place to be for like once you become a millionaire, uh, I hope many of you become millionaires, then this is this is definitely an option because then the gas fees won't really bother you very much. And these are actually pretty good APRs or APYs uh, for long-term investments. And this is, you know, Convex is a, is a very reputable protocol. So, like, until you're super big money, uh, this the other blockchains are the place to be, in my opinion, for APRs and APYs and yields. So I'm going to go ahead and get out of Ethereum. And now we're going to look around. The first place I want to look is TerraSwap because if you do the... Uh, no, it's not going to let me do it. Oh, because I have to change this one, I guess. Bah humbug. I, I want to change these to... It won't let me change them. Okay, I just need to refresh. But if you do the B, ETH, or and ETH pairing, which is like a stable pair for... A stable pair for Ethereum... Uh, you can, or METH, which is again like a stable pair for Ethereum, you can get, and you might not have known this because it doesn't show you, you can get a really good APR. Okay, so not that one. Here we go. 17.55%. You would never find that on the Ethereum blockchain, at least not to my knowledge. And uh, this is just super good, right? And this is all pool fees. So. 17.55% on METH, BETH uh, pairing. You can see only 3.85 million UST uh, liquidity. But yeah, that's great. That's amazing. I would not mind getting that at all on my Ethereum. So this is probably one of the best opportunities that we're going to look at today. So I wanted to sort of toss that out there early for those who, you know, we're, we're almost getting to the 10-minute mark. Uh, I don't want to lose anyone. So here you go. This is probably one of my favorite opportunities for Ethereum. Boom. Next, let's see. Are there any other ones on? Okay, no. So we're sort of done with Luna. There may be other Luna opportunities, but I want to, you know, just expose you to a few that I like. That's that one. So we can get rid of those two. Uh, Tarot, sure. Let's go Phantom. I like Phantom. So <laughs> I posted that uh, intro to Phantom, and someone someone said because I got a nice mic and a nice new camera that I must be sponsored by Phantom, and that I've sort of sold out. I assure you, I no paid sponsors for this channel. Uh, the microphone was a birthday present from my mom, and I did I did buy myself uh, a new webcam. It's not even a fancy camera, just a, a nice new webcam. Okay, so Phantom Chain, you can do single side providing or single side uh, supplying of these assets or sort of lending, I guess, lending for pretty decent APRs. So for Ethereum, you're going to get 6.72%. Uh, if I just type in ETH, you can look at all of them. You know, 6.19, we're looking at 6, so uh, roughly between 6 and 7% APR for single side supplying. However, uh, you know, if you're bullish on coins, right, those uh, blockchain coins, then maybe the Phantom ETH 
opportunity would entice you at 93.35% APR, which can be heightened into APY. So that's pretty good. Um, here's another one at 119%, same pairing. So like, also there's the Bitcoin for 10% on Bitcoin ETH. Now I know a lot of people who are into Ethereum are also into Bitcoin. They're sort of like the, the, um, the, the, the golden pair where you have Papa Bitcoin and Mama Ethereum. Uh, this is great if you just want to sit on these two for a long time and 10% APR. That's, you know, you're appreciating value and you're not really worried about gas fees here because you're on the phantom chain. So it's going to be negligible. All right. So there you go. That's uh, Tarot. If you want to look at just Bitcoin, you could look at all of these, right? Supplying 9.2% for Bitcoin here. Uh, 8% over here. 8% over here. So between 8 and 9% for Bitcoin. It's pretty good. Pretty good for Bitcoin. All right, next one. I guess we can look at Beefy first because we're still on Phantom. So we, we might as well. Uh, and then we can also look at Yield Wolf really quickly. So if we look at just Bitcoin for Yield Wolf, you'll see we can get... I'm not going to look at deposit fees. So let's do no deposit fee. Uh... No deposit fee with Bitcoin, and we got nothing. Okay, well, let's look at Beefy. I think that may be a mistake, but... Assets. It doesn't even show up. Okay, well, let's go to ETH. Okay, so this is just like chain tokens plus... Uh, this is, this is, I like this a lot. So 63% APY on Bitcoin, Phantom, Ethereum, and USD, USDC. Uh, this is a, re I like this. This, like, this is something that would, would appeal to me and that I might just put some money in as like a long-term investment and, and set it and forget it. I think Beethoven uh, X is, is going to be like a staple or maintain itself. It maintains position as a staple on the Phantom blockchain. Um, I would be comfortable throwing something in there and, you know, just checking on it like once a week and just being happy with it. Because uh, I like all those coins. Yes, I even like USDC. Uh, I am not someone who's like anti-fiat. Uh, I like taking profits too. So I like this. Um, th this is very similar in, in vain, except without the USDC, the Grand Orchestra, uh, 30%. Yeah, I I would also definitely participate in this one. Um, <clears throat> okay, let's look, see what else we got. Uh, E major, 20%, not bad. 17%, classic trio, which looks just like the other one up there. 15%, okay, cool. Ethereum by itself on Geist, 7.5%. This really, for, for just Ethereum, this is not bad. Uh, it's like the same that we were getting on the Ethereum blockchain, but with none of the fees. And it's using Geist, which is an Aave clone, which is really reputable on this chain. So you can get some pretty good yields here for your Ethereum. Um, I wish that there was... Okay, so we can do wrap Bitcoin and Ren Bitcoin. So we'll do uh, those. Um, Try Crypto, pretty cool curve pool. Uh, wrap Bitcoin Phantom, 27%, not bad. B Major, Bitcoin, USDC. So you can look at all the different... Again, see, like this is pretty good, 7.5%. Of course, I would do lending on Tarot first. Uh, I, I trust that protocol, so I wouldn't mind doing that. All right, let's look at Ren PTC really quickly, just to see if there's any massive differences. There's not. Okay, so you can do this sort of stable Bitcoin pair for 4%, roughly 4%. Um, I, I imagine you're going to get the same, similar things over here. Uh, if you're on Phantom, actually, Grim generally has the best advertised AP, APYs. Uh, so I guess we can quickly look at Grim, but you're, you're going to get very similar APYs, just maybe slightly better. So uh, all, and then I will search by Ethereum first to look at those ones. And, you know, Ethereum Phantom, 109%, that's fantastic. Uh, Elite Quartet, yeah, we looked at that one, 90%. Oh yeah, I'm I'm there. You you got me. I'm sold, right? This is amazing. I I love that. Uh, Ethereum USDC on SoulSwap. SoulSwap has this, you know, you have to read all about it. Ethereum Phantom 57%. So I'm interested in many of these. I think these are great opportunities, but I'm also bullish on Phantom. So many many people might not be in that same mindset. 
Uh, let's look at BTC. BTC Phantom, 200%. On JetSwap, uh, let's see. If you click on it, <clears throat> uh, no withdrawal, no deposit fee and a negligible withdrawal fee. So, cool. That's awesome. Uh, BTC USDT. So if if you know if you're bearish on Bitcoin currently, but you like Bitcoin long term, then the impermanent loss you would suffer is actually sort of a good thing. It's kind of like DC. It's kind of like taking profit, sort of. Uh, so you know that's your your mindset. This would be a really good pool for you. And 100% APY. That's really good. Uh, Bitcoin Phantom 107%. So I like this one because I'm sort of bullish on both these tokens. Maybe not immediately. Um, but long term, certainly. Uh, but you know, I'm not married to any tokens. And then the Lee Quartet. So you know, all things to consider. Great places to get yield on these coins. Again, remembering that coins are like uh, tokens for specific chains. All right, let's hop off of Phantom. As much as I do like that chain, cannot a sponsor. The chain doesn't sponsor me. Uh, or else I'd have a lot of cool Phantom swag, which I hope I can get for Christmas because I do like the Phantom chain. But let's look at Lido. I think Lido is actually on the Ethereum blockchain. I, I didn't mention it, so I apologize. Um, but here you go. 10% uh, <clears throat> reward fee for staking on Lido. Does Lido just like go right to Ethereum staking? Okay, yeah, I guess it does. Uh, APR, 4.8%. So that's what I meant to show you. 4.8%. I, I don't... I, I'm not going to get my yield on the Ethereum blockchain. Just just my personal opinion. Let's look at Alpha Hamor. Let's jump over to uh, the AVAX blockchain really quickly and look at what their opportunities are. So again, this video is like maximizing your yield on Bitcoin and Ethereum. Uh, and my video, my video guy, uh, who's an amazing, amazing guy, is probably like, Stephen, what are you doing? These chapters are so hard to organize. Um, all right, let's connect my wallet, MetaMask, earn. So this is just like single side lending. Uh, if you look at the wrapped Ethereum, we're looking at 3.3%. So really not that amazing, but the wrapped Bitcoin, 6.45%, pretty decent. Uh, if you want to be more of a degenerate, you can go to the dashboard for like leverage yield farming and look at some of these. I mean, look at that, just for AVAX. But we're not talking about AVAX today. You can do wrapped Ethereum AVAX. So if you're bullish on AVAX and you also like Ethereum, uh, there you go, 100%. Um, stables, not really stables. Bitcoin, 75% with this. Um, do we have any? Uh, okay, so that's pretty much all I got. So not, not the most amazing stuff. Uh, if you want to look at one more opportunity there, maybe we would look at Snowball, which is an auto compounder on Avalanche. And you go to, to Compound and Earned. You look maybe for ETH. Uh, you have single side here. Um, on Benchy, you're looking at 7.4%. Again, not bad. Beats most of the Ethereum opportunities, and you're not dealing with absurd gas fees. Uh, and then you have ETH stable, 8.4%. Not amazing, but not bad. And then, you know, AVAX ETH for 20%, 19%. If we do Bitcoin, uh, 35% for um, AVAX Bitcoin. Uh, Bitcoin by itself, we're looking at 7.4%. So, you know, keep those all in mind. 7.4%, it's not bad. Not bad. All right, so Vault, uh, I wanted to look at the lending. <clears throat> what I will say as a disclaimer for 11 is that some of the APRs or APYs d don't seem to be accurate. Um, so I don't want to call them out, but uh, it's just my experience is that when you deposit things here and you're doing your leveraging sometimes it's negative when it advertises positive uh, so lending may be safer and so let's look at lending if you go to lending um, look the leth 9.5 percent i think that's pretty good uh <clears throat> lrap bnb 15 percent that's really good so these are boosted but you know get them while they're boosted Three and uh, not great. 
10%, pretty good. Can I sort by APY, APR? Mm, no. Okay. Well, there you go. 15%, pretty good, really good. Uh, all right, so this is another opportunity. Now, there are just a plethora of different opportunities out there, but I hope now that you've watched this video, uh, you won't just assume you need to hold your Bitcoin or hold your Ethereum on centralized exchanges. Uh, there are other opportunities. And, you know, it's fine to be a Bitcoin maxi. It's fine to be an ETH maxi. But at least maximize your Ethereum and Bitcoin. Get some yield on it while you're holding it. Uh, for sure. And don't, you know, don't just be getting that like point something percent or, or 3% basic that you can get on a, on a centralized exchange where you don't even own your own coins. Someone else owns your coins and is like leasing them to you. All right. So that's it for now. Hopefully you can go out and get some yields on your Bitcoins, some yields on your, uh, <clears throat> your Ethereum. If you want to support the channel, if you want to watch these videos before they're released, while well, my video editor and uh, you know channel manager is is doing all the cool um, chapters and uh, thumbnail stuff, then join the Patreon. Uh, all of these things are uploaded to a Google Drive folder that is shared with Patreon members that they can look at ahead of time, so they can always see the videos before they're released, like a day in advance or two days in advance, depending on um, you know a number of different uh, things. Thank you so much for watching and have a wonderful rest of your day.